we've done just shy of a million dollars in lifetime sales on Etsy. We'll probably break that million dollar mark shortly here in this first quarter. Connor, Lauren, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us, us, Stephen. Of course, I'm super excited to jump in your guys' interview in particular. I know you guys are making some big moves. You guys are killing it on Etsy. You guys had a super successful Q4. But I kind of want to start from the very beginning and then kind of unpack as much as possible in the journey leading up to what you guys are doing now. Um, so if you guys wouldn't mind, like, could you share maybe what you guys were doing before Etsy and kind of what led to the decision to start an Etsy print on end business and like what those early days were like? Yeah, so our story is kind of unique in how we got started with Etsy in the sense that we started by selling handmade products back in 2020. Me and my sister were actually home for the pandemic like everyone else. And it was around Mother's Day. And so we were trying to think like, what could we make for our mom as a gift for Mother's Day? And for years, we had always had this life-size lab dog, which was like a wooden dog in our garden. It was just a decoration. And over the years, like the wooden feet had rotted away. So we were like, why don't we try and make a new one for her for Mother's Day? So we went out, we got plywood, we did that. Then we ended up making a bulldog for Lauren's mom. Lauren and I were dating at the time. We're now married. We got married last August. Um, so that's kind of how we got started. And then people were asking, you know, where can we get other cutouts or of our own dogs? And so my sister was like, hey, maybe we could sell these on Etsy. So that kind of brought us down the whole path of Etsy. I had never even like been on Etsy mm -hmm. as a guy. It just wasn't a place I would even <laughs> look to shop or had any interest. So started watching YouTube videos and like just figured out what it was all about. And yeah, that was the launch, the first launch of our first business. And we did that for about two years, making those handmade products. We had a lot of success, but it was a ton of work and mm -hmm. doing things all by yourself. I had my whole family helping me, but the whole process, it's a lot of work. So during that time, in the summer of 2020, while we were doing all this research, we stumbled across print on demand. And at that time, it just blew our minds like, the business model like hey the people are like they don't have any inventory they're like running these huge businesses <laughs> online just from their computer anywhere in the world and so that was super enticing for us and at the time there were a lot of supply chain issues so we kind of like shied away from it we forgot about it for a while and then 2021 came around and i think we saw another youtube video and then we like dove in completely and we're like we're gonna do this we were still running the other shop Slowly, month over month, we started to gain sales. We were selling t-shirts and sweatshirts through Printify. That's where we started for print on demand. And, you know, kind of a year went by and we quickly realized how much easier it was to scale that type of business model rather than your own handmade products. And so we were like, we really need to focus our attention on this. and. About a year into that, that's when we stumbled across Jesse's course and we signed up for his elite POD course, which is what it was called at the time. And pretty much like that was the summer of 2022 and like pretty much instantly we saw like massive results, like difference in our revenue on Etsy, still selling those t-shirts and sweatshirts through Printify. So super exciting there that you guys made that transition. When you launched your uh, your print on demand products, was it on the same Etsy account or did you launch a separate business? Did you leverage the reviews from the previous or did you start a new? We started a brand new account, a new shop. Yeah. Perfect. Are, are you guys also comfortable with sharing any of your revenue numbers or is that uh, more private? Yeah, that's fine. So I wrote down some cool stats before this just to have them handy. So I guess one of the cool stats is in the 12 months following signing up with Jesse's course. So we were about a year into the print on demand shop. We did like just over 560 K in revenue in those first 12 months right after the course. So, yeah. What was the, the 12 months prior to that? You said like you, you launched like 2020 one, I think you launched uh, Jesse's course 2022, if I believe. What was the first 12 months compared to the, the second 12 months of that, that milestone? You know, yeah, roughly? I, don't, I don't have that number, but I think it was probably like between a hundred and 200 K probably. So we had had some success, but it wasn't anywhere near what we saw once we implemented 
the specific strategies. Connor and Laura, I think you guys were one of Jesse's like first students. We went back a few years ago when Jesse launched just a course. Since then, has now done fulfillment and circle prints, uh, which we'll get into that next. Uh, but it's really cool to hear that you guys were going from you know six figures to five xing after taking that course. The same strategies that I use to grow my Etsy business, to be honest. Um, and then you convinced Lauren to launch her Etsy business. You launched, I'm assuming, ornaments going into Q4. Yeah. So I um, opened my Etsy business in like October, um, and I started with ornaments, obviously, to capitalize on Christmas. Um, and Connor just taught me what he learned through Jesse's course and the program, and I implemented that into my Etsy shop. And I saw immediate results. I could not believe my eyes when things just started going off. And the really cool part was a lot of, almost actually all of the listings on my shop were personalized. So that was cool to see like Jesse's course and what Connor implemented happen on mine um, and it all be personalized. So yeah, it was crazy successful um, for three months. <laughs> Yeah. And then, yeah, so it was really awesome. <laughs> I love that. So, okay, so you mentioned personalization. So, 100% uh, of your ornaments, what, to do ornaments on Etsy, you almost have to be personalized to compete, which makes sense. Uh, so, you launched your Etsy shop, you blew up during the Q4, everything was personalized. Like, what were some of the, like, what was the process that you used for personalization? And what were some of the pain points you experienced in, in doing and experienced that the first time? So, the process was we did everything manually. So, it was us doing all of the, Customization for the customers, um, it was really great because we were able to learn so, so much from it. Like, I really feel like we that was when we learned the most. But the pain points from it was how much time we spent um, putting all the work into those ornaments and fulfilling them where we could have really been able to use our time and energy growing our business versus um, putting time into the actual processing of the customization. <laughs> Yeah, I completely agree. Like when you go from like a handmade Etsy shop, you realize you're doing the front end and the production to go from that to yeah. doing print on demand where you're just focusing on the front end. But then you realize for when you're doing personalization, you're still spending a lot of your time, you know, fulfilling the orders to when like, you know, like for example, which is why we got Hello Custom to automate the personalization. So now you're literally just launching designs. You know, the fulfillment's taken care of by Printify or your production partner. Uh, the personalization is taken care of by Hello Custom. Okay, I'd love to kind of like kind of continue this story. Uh, so now you guys both have Etsy accounts. You guys are both, you know, following, following Jesse's process. You guys just had an amazing Q4. We're talking about Christmas, 2023. Uh, can you guys kind of tell me about like the lead up to that? Like how, how successful was that? And, and kind of how did that Christmas season go for you guys? Yeah. So where Lauren kind of just picked up, that was 2022. And at that time she was selling the ornaments through Printify. So there was no gift box and. There were quality issues that we had to work through. Inventory issues. Inventory <laughs> issues. So it was kind of a nightmare at the time. And then we kind of heard rumblings of Jesse and his inner circle prints that was going to be launching. And honestly, one of the biggest selling points for us was the ornaments because we had just come off that season. Yeah. And that inner circle prints was going to be offering a gift box with the ornaments mm -hmm. and at a much cheaper price. So that was like a huge selling point for us. And right when it was pretty much available, we signed up with Inner Circle Prints. We just knew how crazy of an opportunity it was to work more one-on-one -on -one with Jesse and have them fulfill our products and have that more personal one-on-one -on -one interaction. Um, and so Inner Circle Prints became available officially at the beginning of March of 2023, right in time for Mother's Day. Yep. And so they were also offering Tumblr products which aren't available to many other print on demand sellers. And if they are, they're much more expensive. So just being with inner circle prints, we had a huge advantage selling mm -hmm. those products and it was right in time for Mother's Day, like I said. So we saw a huge success right away when we launched those Tumblr products. And then that kind of carried us right back into Q4 of this past year. And we rebuilt out our ornaments with the offer of the gift box and the cheaper price. And that's when we really saw like huge growth this past Q4 and it was super exciting time. And it even more showed us how much time it takes to personalize. Like 
I know you know even better than us. Like when you have hundreds of orders a day, yeah, and it takes two minutes at least to personalize each order. You're making mistakes along the way, and it quickly adds up to like so so many hours. And so we yeah. still work full time. So like that's a lot of early mornings and late <laughs> nights, like just grinding away, fulfilling all those orders. And so we wanted to say to you, like, we really commend like the project you're taking on with Hell Custom because like you've gone through it yeah. far more <laughs> at high level than we have. And so you understand it and like you're really like driving the print on demand industry forward. And it's like a huge project to take on and problem to try and solve. So yeah, so we're really thankful for you. Oh, thanks, guys. I, I really appreciate that. Yeah, it's, it's during a Christmas season in our print shop, we'd be doing like a thousand products per day during a Christmas yeah. rush, not every given day. But like when you're doing that volume, we would have like 10 employees just on laptops, like a computer lab full of people mm -hmm. just typing in names and addresses and dates, name, date, addresses all day long. And like you mentioned typos, like you guys are the owners of the business and you're doing typos. Imagine a, an employee that just got hired yesterday. You know, they're typing Steven with a V or Connor with an ER. It's like, it's just boxes and boxes of throwaways to where the, the pain point was big enough that we had to, you know, you know, build a tool for people to leverage personalization. Because I, I genuinely feel like to be successful on Etsy now with a huge increase in competition, like you have to be personalized uh, to be successful on Etsy. That's, that's one of my uh, beliefs. Uh, so I'd love to kind of unpack a little bit more of you guys' 2022. I kind of skipped to the end of 2020. Talk a little bit more about you guys' 2023. I kind of talk, I skipped to the end of 2023, but... So you guys launched with Inner Circle Prints. So again, for those of you who do not know what Inner Circle Prints is, is at the beginning of 2023, uh, I started the project Apollo Custom. My good buddy Jesse started the project of Inner Circle Prints. We both were launching our softwares together where we are automating uh, personalization and Jesse is essentially offering exclusive fulfillment uh, for a handful of products that he sold personally that allowed him to generate, I think he's done over $10 million revenue lifetime. So he's now doing fulfillment for those products paired with coaching, paired with a course, uh, which I'm kind of excited to talk about the coaching next. Uh, but yeah, he launched Tumblr's going into Mother's Day. So you guys did Tumblr's. Uh, it was fun. So I actually went to visit Jesse's shop during the Mother's Day rush to kind of see how everything was going, see how the new processes were. I was helping cut some of the graphics for him. Uh, but there are some people who literally launched that month for Teacher Appreciation Month. Uh, and they did like this, I did thirty thousand dollars this month. Like it's like their first month on Etsy, launching through Jesse's program, Inner Circle Prints, Tumblr's during Teacher Appreciation Month, and did thirty thousand dollars. Like, how successful was your guys's Teacher Appreciation Month slash Nurse Appreciation slash Mother's Day? Like, how did that go for you guys? Yeah, it was crazy. It was like almost the most volume we'd ever had in our both of our Etsy businesses, and it happened like right away because mm -hmm. all the kind of sales volume died off after the first season of the ornaments. And then we kind of had a couple months to build out the tumblers getting ready. And once that went live, like, I think we literally got our first order less than 24 yeah. hours after we posted it. And like, that's amazing. It just, like picked up from there. And yeah, like you said, you get right into teacher appreciation nurses and it kind of carries you right through the summer. And then you're yeah. at Q4 before you know it. Perfect. And I know you guys had an amazing Q4. Are you guys comfortable sharing like the numbers you guys did just this last Q4? Yeah. yeah so just through Inner Circle Prints, we did over 215K in revenue. Wow. And that's just during the Christmas rush? Yeah. So <laughs> I think we hit our first 100K month ever oh. on Etsy in November. And then we pretty much did the same in December. What I, what I love about your guys' story is you guys went from like having a hundred thousand dollar year to having like five X at the next year to like the fact that now you're doing multiple six figure months, like during a Christmas season, like, like I just want to applaud you guys for a split second. Like that's not easy to do. Uh, so you got, you guys did that all while working a full-time job. So I just want to applaud you guys for a split, a split second. Um, so we are now in the new year, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's February of 2024. I'm really curious, like what are your guys' plans for 2024? What are you guys working on now? Yeah, so coming off last year, we were super blessed and grateful to have amazing success. But at the same time, we're like, we see so many people around us that have done way more than us. Like we're still a small shop, so we know there's so much room for growth still. So we're super excited about that in our own business. Um, but on the other end, we were fortunate enough to be able to come on board with Inner Circle Prints and help out Jesse and 
we're going to be coaching all the new students in the Inner Circle Prince program, which allows you to fulfill the products through Inner Circle Prints. And you also get one-on-one -on -one coaching with us as well as Jesse's course, which we've talked about. So that's kind of what we're working on right now. We still run our shops and we're looking to help all the other people with their own shops. And going into this, our goal was basically, you know, we want all of the people that we coach to have the opportunity to be way more successful than we've ever been. So we're really, looking to sew into people and just see their amazing success. Wow. I love that. So, so you guys went from taking Jesse's course to right when you launched inner circle prints, you know, signing up, seeing success there to now you guys are actually part of the mentorship group, uh, actually mentoring the students that are coming in next. And what I love the most about that is you guys are, you guys are not just reteaching, you guys like experienced it. Your first hand, you guys are actively building your Etsy shops and you guys are able to like, for the people who are a few steps behind you, you know, take their hand and walk them alongside like your guys' learnings and, and tribulations. Uh, so I, I just know anyone who wants to get coached by Connor and or Lauren, like I know they're gonna be super successful, I already can tell. Um, where would someone want to learn, if someone was interested to learn more about like Inner Circle Prints or if they were interested in learning more about potentially being mentored by you guys, like where could I send them? Yeah, so Jesse actually just posted his free course on his YouTube channel. So I think Steven's gonna link that below. And then you can also, go to the Inner Circle Prince website where you can apply to work with Inner Circle Prince and work with us one-on-one. -on -one. Um, there's also a Facebook group out there that you guys can join. So yeah, I think Steven, you'll link those all below. Yeah, in, in the description below, I'll put a link to uh, the YouTube video, I'll put a link to Jesse's free Facebook group as well as to uh, innercircleprints.com where you guys can uh, sign up to apply uh to potentially you know go through inner circle prints for again the course the fulfillment and the mentorship um and again i can't recommend inner circle prints enough jesse the one who built the tool uh you know our, our wives went to elementary school together uh and he's the one that got me started on etsy and you just can't recommend him enough um you guys have any last words for anyone who's uh you know watching yeah i think the biggest thing that we can encourage people to do is get out of your own way um it's it's comes down to just how bad do you want to change the things in your life? Like spend more time with your family. How bad do you, do you want to do that? How bad do you want to have free time to travel, um, to change your career? So it really comes down to how bad you want it and just to get out of your own way. And if you need a sign to start, it's here. So we're super excited. I love it. Thank you guys so much. Have a good evening. You too. Thanks. Thank you, Steven.